Hello, sir, you said that you wanted to talk to me about pursuing a PhD in medical physics. Yes, professor. I'm very interested in making my part in curing patients. I'm going to ask you for a letter of recommendation. What schools did you look at? As a first choice, I'd want to get into the best medical physics program I can. So I'd like to attend McGill, Columbia, Duke or UPenn. People who get into these programs would normally be competitive for med school if they had the prerequisite courses for it. If you realize that you want to attend med school, by all means, take the MCAT on top of the GRE. For people who are competitive for medical physics programs, the quantitative section should normally be very easy. But I want you to consider backup schools to these four. Along with UCLA, these four schools are the cream of the crop in this field. My grades don't lie. I have aced all physics and biology courses so far. However, I can settle on a lower-rated school, like the University of Missouri, the University of Kentucky or the University of Nevada. I mean, there's a shortage of medical physicists out there. Those are still came PEP accredited programs, and none are safeties for anyone. I hope you don't choose to do medical physics only because you want a backup to medical school. I mean, yes, it is shorter than med school plus medical residency for many specialties other than family medicine, but you should then shop for a KMPEP accredited residency afterward. Am I expected to do as much research as I would if I became a college professor? It depends on where in a medical physicist's career. During your PhD, you will do a lot of research. After? If you really want to do research, you can become a college professor and, maybe, make a college earn came PEP certification. But, if you do clinical work, you will treat patients first and research second. And earn a nice salary doing it. I was told not to apply at PhD programs that were not fully funded by the other guy who wrote me a letter of recommendation. Yet, somehow, I feel becoming a medical physicist resembles med school more than a regular physics PhD. In many ways, becoming a medical physicist is much like becoming a physician. Your best bet as a medical physicist is to do radio-oncology. You will have to pass the ABR test. You take part 1 once your dissertation has been defended. You take part 2 after your residency and part 3 the year after you pass part 2. If you still want to take the MCAT, I advise you to aim for 33 and higher. I should shadow a radio oncologist. Chances are that I will get to see a medical physicist's work up close as well. When I became a medical physicist, I first thought that most medical physicists would be failed pre-meds. But the skill set required to do medical physics differs strongly from the skill set required to practice medicine. If your heart is set on medical physics, you can forget about the MCAT, otherwise, Prepare for both the MCAT and the GRE. But I hope you don't want to do medical physics because you will then earn a six-figure salary. Even though the average salary for a clinical medical physicist is $180,000, you will become miserable if you don't like either physics or medicine. How does the skill set to do medicine differ from that of a medical physicist? I knew both required critical thinking to some degree. Medical physicists handle more math and physics than any doctor. They do stuff doctors couldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. You're right in saying that both professions require some critical thinking, though. Either way, do you want to move to the middle of nowhere for work? If you do move to the middle of nowhere, you might have to share your working schedule between three, or even four, clinics in a single week. However, as with medicine, the medical physicists that do so usually gain access to student loan repayment plans. So will you write me a letter of recommendation? Yes. Give me the forms, I will have it done by Monday. Please understand that I wouldn't write a recommendation on your behalf if I think you are unable to handle the work. Thank you. You just confirmed my desire of getting a PhD in medical physics.